now your certified storm ready forecast from NBC 25. Get ready for more cold as you step outside this morning. Northwesterly winds continuing over the warmer waters of the lakes, and that's kicked off a few lake effect snow showers last night and into this morning. With right now, the only area still seeing some of that activity here in our viewing area is through Roscommon and also Ogemaw counties, even a little bit in northern sections of, of uh, Aranac County near Tawas. We could potentially see some of that flurry activity continuing into the thumb as well, but overall the trend is going to be for a mix of clouds and clear skies. And very chilly temperatures when you step outside. Down to 29 now in Flint, the cold spot. 30 in Saginaw and Bay City. 32 in Cairo. 33 in Clare and Tawas. 35 in Alma. And 33 in Owasso. So a chilly start, but this is actually close to our average for this time of year. As we widen out, you can see that northwesterly flow. Really the dominant feature here across the Great Lakes. Out west, they're seeing clear skies. So we're actually going to watch a little bit of this clear sky activity out west slide east and give us a break from the mostly cloudy skies that we've been stuck with the last few days. But it's going to be short lived. Already seeing clouds developing out across the plains, even some rain. And notice it's rain in North Dakota and not snow. Well, that's because this system has southwest winds out ahead of it, so temperatures are actually warming up out west. And that's what will be the case here as we go from tonight into tomorrow. Highs today, mid 40s. Tomorrow, low 50s. Your overnight lows tonight only into the mid 30s for the coolest locations out there. But there will be some rain for you on your Saturday morning. Here's how Futurecast depicts that. We'll start to see the clouds increasing late today, but I do feel we'll have about 50 50 with the clouds versus the sun, but more sunshine today than we saw yesterday. And then we start to watch the rain and snow develop across Wisconsin in the western upper peninsula. This is midnight tonight. Some showers possible, snow showers in those lake belt areas, but watch what happens as that moves in to the region. Aside from our northwestern communities that could start out as a little bit of snow, we're looking at this one coming through with just a few showers and in the form of rain, liquid, not frozen. And then we actually see those temperatures jumping up in the afternoon into the low 50s with partly to mostly cloudy skies. So enjoy your Saturday afternoon. Enjoy your Sunday because things take a big turn going into next week where we'll be talking about the snow potential and the very cold potential. And don't let the snow potential excite you too much, snow lovers, because it's just going to be a little bit. But the cold, whew, look at that. We go from the 50s tomorrow to 44 on Veterans Day. We will see a few rain and snow showers on the leading edge of this Arctic boundary as it moves through. Then we drop temperatures cold enough to where it's going to be all snow showers from Monday night into Tuesday. That'll be coming in off of Lake Michigan, so the lake effect will set up. And there could be some minor accumulations in our northwestern counties. Again, the favored areas to see those accumulations. But by Wednesday, we see the lake effect tapering off. Temperatures slowly moderate, but stay below average by nearly 10 degrees. Some spots even as high as 12 degrees below average from Tuesday into <coughs> Thursday. So we'll be watching that forecast for you very closely next week, but relatively quiet, Joel, aside from a few showers tomorrow morning rain showers for the most part.